All right, good morning or good afternoon, everyone. It is now noon. This is Deaconess Intern Elizabeth, and it is Saturday, June 6th. And it's Pastor Brannick, and we are here for your morning devotions, your afternoon devotions today. Uh, and we're doing the noon devotion in this Lutheran Service book on page 296. Let's begin with the invocation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Listen to my prayer, O God. Do not ignore my plea. Hear me and answer me. Evening, morning, and noon. I cried out in distress, and he hears my voice. Cast your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And Elizabeth is going to introduce the hymn for us today. Our hymn this morning is going to be hymn 549, All Hail the Power of Jesus' Name. And we'll do verses 1 and 3. All hail the power of Jesus' name, let angels prostrate fall. Bring forth a royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. Bring forth a royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. Ye seed of Israel's chosen race, ye ransomed from the fall. Hail him who saves you by his grace, and crown him Lord of all. Hail him who saves you by his grace, and crown him Lord of all. Our Bible reading today is going to be from the Gospel of Luke, the 24th chapter, beginning at verse 1. This is about the resurrection. But on the first day of the week, at early dawn, they went to the tomb, taking the spices they had prepared. And they found the stone rolled away from the tomb. But when they went in, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were perplexed about this, behold, two men stood by them in dazzling apparel. And as they were frightened, bowed their faces to the ground. The men said to them, why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he told you while he was still in Galilee that the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified on the third day rise. And they remembered his words. And turning from the tomb, they told all these things to the eleven and to all the rest. So this is obviously one of the most important stories in the Gospel reading and uh, goes right up there with crucifixion, that, that Jesus is raised from the dead, showing that uh, death no longer has mastery over him, and also proclaiming that uh, God the Father accepted his sacrifice for sin uh, as payment, so that uh, all who believe in Jesus now have the blessings of forgiveness, life everlasting, and salvation. So, uh, resurrection you know, proclaims so many important and wonderful truths for us as Christians that uh, we too will one day rise from the dead. It'll be, it'll be a bodily resurrection, uh, that our bodies, our flesh, have uh, value to God, and that's not just our souls or spirits, but uh, that the physical flesh is resurrected and also will be eternal. So uh, that resurrection is, is an important cornerstone of the Christian faith, one that proclaims uh, the essence of Christianity and also shares the blessing. So we continue now, back in your hymnal, with our new devotion on page 296. O oh Lord, have mercy upon us. O oh Christ, have mercy upon us. O oh Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Blessed Lord Jesus Christ, on this hour you hung upon the cross, stretching out your loving arms to embrace the world in your death. Grant that all people of the earth may look to you and see their salvation. For your mercy's sake we pray. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks indeed. 
And Elizabeth, what announcements do you have for us this morning? All right, well, this evening we will have our young adults gathering through Zoom, and I believe this will be our last gathering um, online, and we will try to meet in person uh, maybe once a month from now on. But that's tonight, 6.30 through Zoom. Uh, and then tomorrow we have Sunday school. Our younger children will be meeting at 9.15 through Zoom and uh, 9.45 for the uh, youth Sunday school. And if you're here in person, um, stop by at any time and we will get you into Sunday school. And we had a great men's breakfast this morning on the Dead Sea Scrolls. And I have, uh, I recorded the, the Bible study on Zoom and now have posted it to YouTube. So. If you would like to go on there and watch it, it's about 45 minutes in length, and it gives you a nice primer about the Dead Sea Scrolls and how they're relevant to us today uh, in the Christian church. Also, we're having a parking lot service a week from tomorrow on June the 14th. This will be a communion service, so hope that you can join us. Uh, if you would uh, like to come, you're still not willing to come into church just yet, or even if you are willing to come, uh, we'd love to see you next Sunday at the parking lot service. Uh, tomorrow, both uh, services in person as well as uh, via YouTube, continue uh, our in-person uh, Bible study, adult Bible class, studying the book of Revelation also will continue. We hope that you can join us and continue to grow in your faith in Christ as we continue to proclaim him to the nations. The Lord bless your day.